popped up, so I skipped that session. But I hope to do one uh, through this week to continue the four buttons development. But today we'll be doing an interesting challenge. Uh, we'll be doing this random code challenge, which means that I'll randomly select the language from the 27 available languages in coding game. And then we'll just have to code the solution in that language. And, you know, I'm actually not well versed in all the languages. I only know three or four. But we'll see how this goes. Yeah, You probably will learn some, something when you like, just try and attempt to code it out in that language. Well, of course, I think I will probably lose the clash <laughs> if it's a language that I don't know. But, you know, we shall see because uh, it all depends on, you know, luck. <laughs> what language the random number generator has uh, selected for us. And then from that, from that uh, language, yeah, we shall see whether the problem is easy enough to be solved within 15 minutes. Yeah, this will be tough. Yeah, this will be tough, but I guess it will expose me to a few other languages. Yeah, the next language I would like to learn is probably uh, either Rust or Bash. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so let's, let's randomly generate a number. 18, okay, so the number 18 language. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, Pascal. Is this double Pascal? Oh, gosh. Never seen this before. Okay, we just got to make do with it. Okay, so this is Pascal. No idea what this is. Mm, so I guess we take in the line. Oh, it looks like you have to do var and then you need to do begin and end. Uh, somehow it ends with a full stop instead of a semicolon here. Alright. Months. JFM. April is A. Oh, that's quite easy actually. Like MAM. I'll put the next one which is J. Uh, so you just need to find index of this one. Okay, so find index of substring in string Pascal. Uh, let's just see whether. Pause function. I guess over here, this is the months is a string, I guess. Yeah, so months is a string. And then I will do, oh, somehow you, <laughs> they put do not remove this one here. So I guess I need to right line something. Let's try right line hello, see, see how it goes. Yeah, so it prints out hello. So at least that part is settled. Okay, so Looks like pause is the thing that I'm trying to, to do. So maybe months, uh, we need to do this. Yeah, I think I'll need to do a loop around. So maybe I'll just do this, this, this double. Yeah. So find the position of, of months in this S. Then maybe should I just print out X? Maybe it must be a double put. Not sure. Like that. Maybe like this. Identifier not found x. So x is an integer. So. I guess in every chunk you need to declare your variables at the top, it seems like. So it's the inputs. Actually, do I need this inputs thing? I guess it's not really references and oh inputs is this. Then you create a read line. I guess I'll need that input. So maybe I'll is there an integer class? Int. 
Okay. Pascal classes. <laughs> Yeah, we need to declare that class integer. So, yeah, we need to call it integer for Pascal. Yeah, we need to declare it as integer. Integer. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. So, let's see whether this works. Not too sure. I mean, okay, so it kind of works. So, I guess what I do is I will print out the next mine, right? So, x plus 1 then i just i hope this is how you do arrays in pascal a okay so you should print out j instead of a so m a m it finds this one it finds the position of 3 it takes oh it takes the first index actually i need the length okay string length in pascal we need to add the length of that string so uh, how do you find the length of a string in Pascal? So let's take a look. How do we do this? Uh, length, I guess, is this length s. Yeah, I wonder if you all can see my screen. But, uh, OK, so maybe length months, something like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's the issue here? What did I print out? J. Okay, let's see what, what this prints out. Prints out one. Okay. So so length months, what's length months? Prints out 12. So maybe I didn't need to put the plus one here. B, yep. J, yep. So it looks like I don't need to do the plus one there. Expected F. Eternal return, what was this? Oh. oh, wow. It looks like I just need to, you know, maybe take. Yeah, I guess I could just take the last three digits of the string. Yeah, so maybe I can just, you know, do this month equals to. I wonder if this is a Pascal thing. I don't think it is. Um, okay, so Pascal takes up string. String. So it's the copy function. Yeah. I could do this, or I could, you know, concatenate my string long enough such that any input will be will be okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure, but the eternal return seems to be quite long. Like this one looks to be quite long, so maybe not. Yeah. Maybe not. Uh, I mean, I could copy and paste this many, many times, and it will work. Or I could just take my months, and I just take the last three characters with a substring. This will work. Illegal expression. B minus four. Oh oh. Uh, I need uh, I I need this in Pascal. B. B. 
Okay, let's uh let's right line months and then we see we see what this is. We see what right line months give us S O N gives us S O N. So is this the last three? S O N D J, so it's not the last three. The second one. Start is two, so it's one, two. Oh, so it's not Pascal is not the zero index. Oh, interesting. So maybe minus two. Okay. Uh, now this works. This works also. Yeah, so it looks like if let's say uh, my first starting range is negative one, it seems to help to make it to be zero, zero also. So looks like this is good. Yeah, so I can just keep this. Just wonder, you know, like whether I can do, whether I can do something like, like this, whether I can just concatenate my string like that. Repeat string Pascal. Oh, it looks like I need to do a deep string method. Yeah, there's no inbuilt repeat. So, yeah, let's just put it back here. And just try to. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, I wonder what will happen if I remove this. They say do not remove. It works. What's, what's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong with removing this? All right, remove. Do I need this? Looks like I don't need this as well. And this inputs T string list is do I need this? Do I need this input T string list? I, I don't think I need this to yeah uh, because this input is related to passing this one. Okay. So I can take all this out to like, shorten my code a bit. Yeah. Looks good, looks good. Months can be called M. Like that, yeah. So, like that. Like that. Good, so I can take it out. Take out this. Yeah, take this out. Do I need all this? Let's just try removing this and see how it works. Yeah, can we remove this? Do I need this H plus? Nope, I don't need this. I wonder why it does. Do I need this <laughs> program answer? I think I will need this. Oh, I can remove it. Okay, okay. Can I like do it without the indent like that? Yeah. I think about this full stop. I think I can. Yeah, no, nope, I can. This full stop is still needed after all. And you know. I wonder if I can shift this thing inside this begin here. Nope. Yeah, so it looks like for every block, we need to declare a variable at the top. And then after that, then we do the begin method to then solve this. So this should be good enough. Yeah. Let's just search something. Pascal. Yeah, that's not the... Ah, uh, forget it. Yeah, I, I, I forgot what it was. It. Uh, not too bad. Uh, Pascal is very lengthy, I guess. Yeah. But, well, it's not too bad. One, four, three characters. <laughs> Let's just see what I solved the problem first. Yeah, I solved it. Yeah, I just I never used Pascal in my life before. But yeah, Ruby would be 
Yeah, you see, you can concatenate it like that. Yeah, heat. Oh, nice. You use get s here to search for the string and then it just takes the whatever that matches. Zero dollars. See what this is. I think this is the. This dollar is the substring that follows the match. Yeah, so after you take the substring that follows the match, you can get the next letter array. Uh, that was very efficient Ruby code. Uh, this Nathaniel has is really quite good. Whoa, okay. Similar concept. Yeah. E dot index gets. Okay. Yeah. And then you match this. I wonder why he did a plus. Yeah. I guess this dollar. I'm not sure why was there a dollar sign here. Not too sure. Python, yeah. So he did the same method as me. Just took the last two months. I guess two months is good enough. Yeah, I don't need three months. I make this mine. Mine I took three months. Yeah. Using Pascal. <laughs> go. Okay, I've never seen go before. Yeah. Go is like that. All right, let's try again. All right, uh, what number shall it be this time? 14. Okay, later I'll just count 14 for the language and see what it is. Yeah. Well, that was pretty interesting. Pascal looks like C actually. Yeah, so it, it wasn't that tough for me. Uh, looks pretty similar. Okay, number 14 will be. Okay, so Pascal is 18, 17, 16, 14. Oh no, what's Lua? Oh, it does look like, it does look a bit like Python, right? Oh, or Ruby, like for something. Oh, what happened to my yep. Let's just print this. Lua, Lua. A message is considered secure if at least 50% of the characters are modified. Okay, hi Bob, how are you? It's looking nice. Okay, A to Z, B to Y, and so on. Yeah, so this needs to be decoded. Okay, so I need to count the number of characters in in the whole message. Okay, so I guess I don't need to declare the type, right? I can just call it count equals zero. This looks like Python to me, yeah. Uh, over string in Lua. For i equals to one hex string. Uh, looks like this might be good. Yeah, string dot g match dot. Uh, so inefficient. There's no way to do it one by one. You have to like manually do the. So I in this one do this one. Yeah, do this one. Yeah, I guess I I guess I'll take this because like this looks like. This looks good, yeah. 
that argument to, oh yeah, this is called message, not string. So this is called message. Yeah, so I guess this would work. Yeah, this prints out all the letters one by one. Then uh, check character is alphabet in Lua. I wonder if can, I can use regex to match this. Yeah, I, I can do a match. I can do a match. Yeah, so I guess percent W is. I guess this is regex already. I guess I could use a G sub. This looks like regex to me. Okay, I wonder if I can do something like uh, uh, what do you call that? Translate Lua translate method. Yeah, uh, which is translate method for strings. Yeah, I wonder if I could do this. Doesn't look good, doesn't look good. Yeah, but I think G sub will be good. Yeah, G sub will be good. This is the string, this is the whatever you want to match. So I can match this. Percent A letters. String match. Okay, let's just count the number of letters first. Oh, what's percent A plus? I guess percent A is all letters, right? So This a no, it's not. No. Okay, let's just search comments in the world. Dash dash. Count number of letters. Okay, so maybe I just put the C equals to this thing first. So that this will be the so be the character itself. Oops. So the character itself. C dot match. Percent A. Yeah, I wonder what will this print out. So you know, let's just see what it prints out. That argument. Okay. So it's it's got string dot match. Nail. Okay, so if there's a nail, that means there's no match. Yeah. Okay. Uh, count plus equals to. Can I do this? They don't support this grammar. Okay. 
<laughs> that class is okay. I need to find a way to, I guess, if this one do then. Oh, so this is a not equals. They don't accept count plus equals to what? So count equals count plus one. And I guess this works also. Yeah, so this tells us the number of letters. And maybe I'll have a total count. Can I do this in Lua? <laughs> I am not sure. Can I do this? Oh yeah, I can. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, so if count, okay, so I'm just curious whether I can, you know, whether it prints decimal. Yes, it does print decimal. So if count sm smaller than total divided by two, at least, so it's actually greater equals to total divided by two, then print secure else print insecure I, I guess that's how it works yeah why is there a squiggly line here missing n did i miss out something This is the for loop here, right? N. Okay, yeah, this, this works. Yeah, so the insecure and secure part works. Now I just need to change the uh, the letters. So maybe I have a substring or like that. Oh no, Lua doesn't support adding. <laughs> I guess I have to use the dot dot method then. Oh. Okay. should do it so what i really need to do now is i just need to sub so find index of character in string dua
so maybe I have not. See what it gets. Twenty nine. Okay, so maybe can I just you know match accordingly? I mean, it would be great if I could do like a dictionary. Nail. No. Oh, why not? In index in the world. Yeah, I do the indexing only. That's, that's the issue. What if this works? Why why can't it print out this? Yeah, I'm just stuck with the. I'm stuck with I'm stuck with the array part where you know you try to reference it. I guess maybe I should have used like substring of that code, like written and character. Of a string Lua. I, I guess I did it wrongly. Yeah. Yeah, I guess substring. I, I, sh I might have used substring. It looks like the like indexing for Lua is not exactly that great. Yeah, this, this doesn't seem to work. Oh, so this gives you length. Interesting. Yeah. I, so weird, yeah. They don't allow you to index strings. You have to use, you have to use this sub s i j kind of thing for Lua, which is kind of weird. Yeah. Oh well, <laughs> my first time doing Lua, but yeah, I guess, I guess if I use Lua again, it will be much easier. Yeah, that problem was a little hard also. Yeah, yeah, I almost solved it. Yeah, but yeah, so you can use this. You can reverse the ASCII lowercase as well. Yeah, oh well. <laughs> okay, I think we have enough people. Do you want to play private clashes? Yeah. Because I think the fun part is, you know, to like randomly choose. Okay, so let's randomly generate 19. Okay, so see whether got enough people want to play this. Uh, allow for more modes. Okay, 19. Just now 18 was Pascal. So 19 is Poe. Alright. So we'll only allow Poe for this. Okay. So this clash is only Poe. Alright, so you know, if you all like to take the challenge to just randomly code in just this language, I mean, I myself have not used Poe before, so it's kind of fair game, I think. <laughs> we just got to try out. Yeah, we see whether there's enough people who wants to do this. If not, I'll continue doing uh, public clashes. Yeah, because it can be quite daunting if we just, you know, do a random language. But that's the fun of programming. Yeah, you just do a random language and just be, you know, learn as you go. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like there's no one who wants to join. Yeah. I mean, I do have some viewers right now. <laughs> you all want to join? Yeah, come on, don't be shy, yeah. Actually, not too bad. Yeah, random languages didn't rank the last 
sort of expected to rank last. Okay, I guess, I guess probably no one would like to do this. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, so this, this round will be pole. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Oh, wish me luck. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, how about this? How about this? How about this? I'll just allow all languages. All right. I'll just allow all language. Is that how do I? Oh no! I need to do one by one. Yeah. yeah. I'll just allow all. Right, and then you. We'll just see whether you want to try pro. Yeah. All right. This. Yeah. So so this round is uh, this round of clash will be. You can use any language you want. Okay. Yeah, but I will be using pro. Okay, because the random number generator said pro. So you know, if you like to try out to learn a new language, then you know you can try the code with me in pro. If not, use whatever language you are familiar with. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the joy of learning stuff. Okay, so anyone else wants to join? If not, I'll be starting. Okay, let's go. Yeah. So um, I have no idea what Po is. Okay, so let's, let's hope it's not too hard. Oh gosh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Uh, it looks like spike. Looks like, looks looks very much like C, I guess. Chomp is like Ruby, so Okay, so T how big can T be? Oh, that's a minus 4.5 or so for a semitone. So I guess I need to times 2 the T. Yeah. So maybe let's do this. Poe declare array. Poe arrays is declared by at something equals to this long thing here. So At notes equals to equals to oh they use round brackets for for poles round brackets like that comma this one comma this one comma this one this one Actually, this random coding challenge is quite fun, actually. <laughs> you just randomly experiment and you see whether it works. Yeah. Okay, so I have my notes array. Okay, maybe I just need to you know, double it. Yeah, like that. Okay, let's print, you know, I wonder if I can just do this t times equals 2, print t, let's just see what happens, t not allowed, uh, convert string to integer, pole. Isn't pole like the very short language? Wonder, well, this kind of looks like bash, isn't it? Like, how come they put a dollar x int is equals to int? So maybe I just need to you know call dollar t. Hmm. 
like that. Like that. <laughs> Okay, I can't even print out the variable t, which is which is weird. Okay, let's just comment this out. See whether this works. Uh, mm, okay, let's take away the int. We see whether this works. Okay. Okay, I mean this is the original code. It, sh it should work. Okay, it should work. All right, so. Can I just yeah okay so um okay pull print variable in string okay let's see how how it's done how to print variables um my id I guess my is like declaring the variables that we use inside yeah something like this. want to see this all right so let's say i want to multiply t by 2 can i do this can i do this oh okay yeah i can okay so next what i want to do is undo two notes okay I guess I, I, I must have missed out a package. My, I guess my is like variable, right? Impel, my, and my. Oh, now it's working, see? Now it's working. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to find this Okay, maybe I need to do a modulo of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, no, no. It's until here only. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I wonder if this is the modulo operator. Okay, seems good, seems good. Okay, yeah, uh, this looks like the modulo operator. Yeah, so I need to get index. Pull get index of L ah yes, yes, this is what I want to do. How to get index of an element in an array. Why is it so complicated? Okay, it looks like this is the one. My index equals to grab this thing zero to the end of the array. My index. Why do I need a bracket for this? That's my index, right? Yeah. Because my is my stands for variable, I guess, in, in Perl. My index equals to grab whatever this is. Dollar underscore could be like input, I guess. Dollar. So actually, I shouldn't use dollar array, right? Because my array is is it my array by at things. Uh, I think we we we'll just use this. Yeah, we we'll just use this. <laughs> we'll just use this. No idea what QW stands for, but like, you know over here they they did say like here at planets right. Say. I 
guess I don't need to use say, right? I don't have to use say, right? I can just, you know, maybe I just print this just to see what it is. There will be add notes. And there will be dollar notes. I wonder if this will work. Yeah, this will be zero. So the first one A is here zero. Okay, so Yeah, so this will be the index to. So now I need to print out the index of this. I wonder if I can just do you no know, notes T. Uh, get index get uh, element in array in pull. How do I reference the value of the array? Isn't it like that? Zero. Oh, so the declaration is an app, but the reference is a dollar. Okay, uh, if you all know Poe, some help will be appreciated. <laughs> How do I get? The reference for I mean you see over here this looks like I can just you know maybe put zero and then you should print out the first index. So maybe I don't even need this. Maybe I could just oh yeah 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 looks like it's an array I can straight away do this. Hooray! I did it did it yeah I have no idea how 90% of the code works but you know the answer is there so it works <laughs> that's what matters it works Ruby yeah so you just repeat this whole thing uh, 99 times now I wonder what this does uh, does this do it in an array yeah, then you reference the D, which times two, okay, plus A dot index. Very nice. Yeah, and index of the first one. So I'm just wondering what uh, percent up to you does in Ruby. So let's just check yeah, what it does in Ruby. Does it create the array percent up to you plus something? Oh, nice. It's a shortcut for this. Nice. So instead of doing commas and, uh, and apostrophes, or quotes you can straight away just do percent that dude oh this is something new very nice code yeah very nice code puny yeah puny with the face all right <laughs> yeah so yeah all the best everyone are you also using poll i mean are you also challenging yourself to use poll yeah i mean the reason why it took so long for me is because i so let's just you know see what else there is? This post supposed to be short. Post is developed by Larry Wall. Yeah, no wonder it looks like Unix. Yeah, it it, it looks like you know Bash kind of style. Yeah, Poe did. This looks like Python without the without the. This was Python two. Uh, without this, but I guess Poe came much earlier before Python. Poe is white, is it? Is Poe the one of the most widely used language over the web? Is it? Because prior to this, I haven't really heard of Poe before. So I'm not sure how how good Poe is. Yeah. <laughs> not too sure. But yeah, it's good that it's free, you know. Poe supports Unicode. Poe is interpreted. Yeah. It's also not like most of see it. Interesting. Yeah. All right, let's just do the random.
the number to see what's the next one. Three, number three. Okay, number three. Oh, nice. Then, uh, Dahi Ninja, are you in the clash also? Or are, are you like just watching? Yeah. Yeah, actually, the dollar sign really reminds me of Bash. So I guess. Yeah. I guess it's like a subset of Bash. Okay, while we wait for the rest to, to finish, let me just create a new uh, private clash so that, you know, y'all can join. So the, the language of the day is language number three. So I have no idea what language number three is. Um, let's just see. Oh, language of the day is C sharp. So eh, luckily I've coded a bit in C sharp before. So that'd be easy, I guess. Yeah, but, Nice. What's a Crystal Rush bot? Is it a, a game in coding game? Like a multiplayer game? Is it that uh, bot competition that uh, you need to program multiple robots to mine crystals? I remember something. Yeah, yeah that, that's a difficult one. Yeah, I couldn't really do that. Yeah, this is yeah, I, I I think I did this thing oh actually this is different. Oh this looks fun actually. I I, I, I think this, this looks quite fun. Yeah. But yeah. I'm trying to see. You know I, I must say that I'm quite surprised like uh, today I just did random clashes and I managed to solve like 80% of the problems within the time. So yeah, that was unexpected. I thought I would you know, not be able to solve it. Yeah. How are you guys? Muhammad and I Isa? Yeah. Dahi Ninja, if you like this uh, multiplayer bot thing, you can try the Spring Challenge 2020. I took point in that. That's the multi-agent Pac-Man challenge. Yeah, it was quite fun to code it when I was doing the challenge. Yeah, so uh, that is that is not bad, I think, for a multiplayer game. A uh, coding game does have quite a few multiplayer games, which is which, which is quite fun. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Actually, this is my final clash already. I've got to go soon. Uh. Anyone else? Anyone would like to join the clash? <laughs> yeah. Let me just post the link. I post the link of the clash again. So so this is the I think this is yeah, this is the link. Yes. So yeah, this is probably my final clash of the day. So yeah, welcome to join. Yeah. So today's the language for this is actually C sharp. Yeah, but you feel free to use any language that you want. Yeah, you don't have to follow me. Yeah, see like over here I use Poe, but the rest you can just use any language. Thanks, Mohamed. All right, so not sure whether anyone else wants to join. Okay, I'll just start first and then, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think the Spring 2020 competition was quite tough because everyone did pretty well, I feel. Yeah, okay, so C sharp. Whoa, this is so long. I mean, <laughs> I don't think I need so many stuff here, right? I don't remember C sharp being need, need so many things. Maybe link queue can be there, but uh, I guess this will still work even without all this includes. Yeah. Link queue is for list, I believe. So actually, I don't even need this. C integers find the aromatic. Thing. That's kind of easy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So, can I take away this? <laughs> Just trying to minimize the code. Oh, no, 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 no. This is needed. 
If I take away using system, I think it will, it will crash also. This console does not exist yet. Actually, C Sharp is one of the languages that I like to, to train more on because uh, C Sharp is used a lot in Unity development. And I've been doing Unity development quite a bit. And C Sharp, the way I learn C Sharp is pretty much the same I learned the, the random languages that I use for this coding challenge. It's just like, if I need something, I just find online Google search, how do I do this? And just copy and paste the code in. Yeah, so C sharp, definitely something to, to work on. Okay, so we have accounts. Okay, let's just call this count C. Yeah. And then uh, I look through the counts and then I need to find the arithmetic mean. So actually what I can do is I can just have an integer. Actually, I, I can just, you know, this can actually go inside here. I greater than zero, I minus minus. And then I can just, you know, take in this in dot pass console dot read like, yeah, I can do that. I haven't really done this in dot pass thing because like in, in Unity, the the console input is from a text box. So usually it will be a string. Yeah, so I guess you could in dot pass the string as well from the text box. Yeah. But over here actually what I really need to do is just taking the total. Maybe total starts from zero. And then I'll just put total plus equals to this. Yeah. Okay, but I, I realized something. I will still need to still need to store this I still need to store this because uh, we still need this to divide later so yeah like that yeah C sharp is actually like C yeah it's not too difficult I wonder if I can just you know what's that add braces for for statement do I need to? No, I don't need to. I mean, I'm just thinking that I can change this to a print instead. Nah. Okay, so. So this is already rounded down, I guess, because it's, it's an int divided by an int. They will automatically do it. Yeah, just thinking whether it will overflow, because uh, hmm. yeah, Maybe I should use long long. Maybe I use long. Yeah. My head overflow. It's okay, that's weird. Rounded down. So I guess it's because it's a negative number, that's why this thing didn't work. C sharp. C sharp round down. Method flaw. Okay, if I want to declare math dot flaw, looks like looks like it's in system itself, so I, I don't need to declare this.
Yeah, something's wrong with this. Far instead of long. Okay, yeah. Far helps to just type pass it. Yeah, it's meant to be ambiguous, yep. <laughs> it's meant Actually it looks like I can use integer like if I do a one ten thousand to one thousand, I wonder what's my integer size for C sharp. Yeah, I think it can store. So integer is good enough already. So I don't have to use var, I don't have to do two separate lines like that. I can just do like that. And then um I wonder if there's a way you know I can just instead of in dot pass, can I just do an int? Can I just do like that? Can I do this? Can I just do this? Nah, they don't allow me to do it. Don't allow me to do that. So this is in the pass. I can also do this as it. I have to do this 1.0 because I need to make this a double. And that's, you know, I can do this. Yeah, but it, it, it actually takes up more more space if I were to do this. Yeah, maybe one F. Yeah. And you will know it's a float straight away already. Okay, so static void main. I'm just thinking whether I can take away all this arcs inside here. Like, do I really need this? I don't think I need this. So. Okay, so class solution. Can I change it to? Plus S maybe. Yeah. I mean, I still need the class for the formatting, but I'm just trying to cut down on the number of characters, I guess. Yeah, it's not exactly very nice syntax, but yeah, it actually looks kind of horrible now. E doesn't look good. And I guess I guess I'll stick to this. <laughs> it doesn't look very nice actually. Yeah, this kind of looks a bit Yeah, one eight three characters. Yeah, I mean, just to do a comparison, I shall do this whole thing in Ruby also. So, you see how how short Ruby is compared to this. So Ruby will just be this. Uh, you can just do this. So you can do this. Between L, we will get the whole list. Yeah. So actually, we can do like, yes, we don't need the first number, so we can do this. Oh, actually, I, I might need the first number. So L divided by N in Ruby. Yeah, see, look at that. Ruby automatically converts to the integer so nicely. So, yep, everyone. So, if you were to use Ruby to solve this, it will be 28 characters. 
so elegant really that you could just map every line of input to an integer and then you just sum up all of them divided by the number use python so python will be like this and equals to this inputs is inputs for yeah we could have something like that let's print this whole thing and convert to an integer I guess I cannot convert to integer for the last one. I need to round it because yeah, because it's a negative number. So we should round it like that. Decided to use smaller the n. Yeah, eighty characters for Python. I think not too bad for Python. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, but but Ruby is beats hands down for this. This twenty eight characters. Yeah. Let's see what do I know JavaScript? Yeah, JavaScript actually kind kind of looks about the same as. C, I guess. Yeah, just you know, see all this pass in thing. So, for this, smaller than C. Actually, we don't even need this pass, we can just do like that for, for JavaScript. P plus equals to this. P plus equals to this. And we just print. I wonder if I can just print this directly. We don't need this. Oh, something's wrong. Something went wrong here. Yeah. Uh, it's working correctly. Somehow it's not uh, able to... The total is not adding up properly. Yeah. Zero to... Oh, it's just of a zero here. Yeah. It's sort of... You know, Maybe I need to do this. Ah, it, be, it becomes like string concatenation already. So I need to figure out how to make this, you know. Because for now, you can just use this. Okay, let's go back to our original code. C sharp. Submit. Yeah, C equals to plus read line. Yeah, that's, that's the faster way yeah, for about two weeks i've been trying to like learn javascript because javascript actually can do very very short code and yeah i think i'm i'm done with the javascript bit uh the next language i probably want to do maybe maybe i should do c sharp yeah practice a bit of c sharp here so makes coding in unity much easier after that yeah but yeah today is a random coding day actually it was quite fun you know like just randomly choosing a language and you, you know you just learn whatever you need to learn to solve the problem it can expose you to multiple languages and yeah i mean there might be some use next time but i still think uh, zooming in on the languages that you think are useful are more important like i think javascript is useful so i learned it i think python is useful so i learned that uh, ruby was useful for clash of code <laughs> but I haven't really done like Ruby on Rails, so that's that's something different. Okay, so anyway, 
Yeah, thanks everyone for watching my stream. Yeah, today is actually quite a short session. I have to go out already. And yeah, I just here wishing everyone like uh, best of health and have a great day. And yeah, see you all around. Uh, next time I should be streaming is on Thursday. Yeah, should be about the same time as well, like 4 to 6 p.m. Uh, GMT plus 8. Oh. All right, see ya. See you everyone. Uh, see you, Dahi Ninja. Uh, good luck for your crystal bot code. Uh, yeah, thanks, uh, GM and Mohism. All right, see you everyone. Bye.